Uh, my name is Evelyn. So when I left school, I skipped out on the whole university thing and I decided to travel the world for about four and a half years. Um, I went to Thailand, India and Australia using temp jobs and hospitality and admin to fund my way around the world. So right now I work as an executive assistant to the chief executive of NHS Western Isles. So my first job in the NHS was six years ago and it was as a catering clerk in the kitchen at Western Isles Hospital, which was a great job that combined both my hospitality skills and my administration experience. Um, while I was doing that role, I also took on an additional role as bank receptionist, which further broadened my skills within the organisation. And then after two years, I applied for a secondment working in administration with the allied health professionals, which was a really rich and diverse role. Um, I was working for five managers and their respective departments. And that role gave me the skills and confidence to apply for my next secondment, which was to the executive assistant role, which I now hold on a permanent basis. The most important school skills for my job are obviously my administration experience. However, I'd say it's my life experience that's been my greatest asset in this role. Um, by this, I mean that my experiences in life and my career to date have given me the communication skills, the emotional intelligence and the neuro-linguistic programming experience to be successful in this role. If you're thinking about a career in the NHS, my advice would be just to do it and don't look back. There are so many opportunities for personal and career development on offer within the NHS that I struggle to engage with in the private sector. Uh, working for the NHS is extremely fulfilling and rewarding. I know that what I do and whatever role I'm in, I'm contributing to excellent patient care for the people within my own community. And that's definitely something worth being part of.